Wild boars' adaptability allows them to survive in a variety of environments. Preferring to feed on seeds, plants, small insects, and even dead animals when their preferred foods are scarce, this food flexibility carries risks, as wild boars harbor a variety of bacteria and diseases that can potentially infect livestock. The landscape witnesses traces of destruction left by wild boars from the previous day. This will be an ideal place to set traps with an advanced camera system, sensors and remote control powered by solar energy. The latest advances in remote camera technology allow real-time monitoring of wild boar activity on a phone, tablet or computer using mobile data, helping to better understand pig behavior forest at the trap site and make smart decisions about when to activate the trap to support effective population management. Optimizing the number of pigs captured is important in every aspect of trap installation. Traps are usually made from stainless steel, ensuring durability and longevity. Popular grains include fermented corn, rice, sorghum or barley, acorns, overripe fruit and honey. Among the many methods to control the wild boar population, Trapping is the most effective, convenient, and cost-effective method. Thanks to advances in technology, traditional traps are quickly being replaced by more sophisticated models, thereby making traps the ultimate tool for effective population control. Recreational hunting of wild boars is a popular activity in the United States, often using hunting dogs as effective support tools to help them search and detect wild boars hiding in dense bushes. In fact, feral hogs are considered a valuable species in some states, not only as useful hunting subjects but also as a source of fun and meat. Recreational hunting can take many forms, such as traveling or hunting through baited areas, and similar to other forms of control. It has the potential to reduce wild boar populations in the wild. Specific areas of high density and increased human activity are relevant for control measures. Impact on wild boar behavior is an important aspect and recreational hunting has been observed to contribute to the dispersion of wild boar populations. Additionally, selective harvesting of only large males as game animals may prevent efforts to reduce population numbers. Removal of females and juveniles has a greater effect on reducing the production of the entire population. Therefore, Selective harvesting that does not discriminate between sex and age categories proves to be a more effective means than selective culling of males.
Newborn piglets have light brown fur with black spots on the neck and shoulders and weigh about 20 to 25 kilograms. They can stand and walk soon after birth and find their own food in about two weeks, although they initially live in their mother's herd. After reaching the age of two, they will separate to find companions and start their own families. Wild boars cause great damage to the environment by digging up vegetation, upsetting grass and soil, leading to destruction of tree root systems and thinning of forests, causing loss of biodiversity. The global wild boar population, estimated at 100 million, is growing, with 80% in Asia, 15% in Europe, and 5% in the Americas. Wild boars also negatively affect forests by digging for food and water, causing ecosystem destruction and hardship for other animals. Although many measures have been taken to control their population, their numbers continue to increase rapidly due to their ability to reproduce rapidly. The Mind Jager Pro Hardplate Wild Boar Trap is not only an effective tool for controlling the wild boar population, but is also a breakthrough with advanced technology, using solar energy to provide convenience and high performance. Unique design and easy assembly are the strengths of the trap. Food, such as fruit or vegetables, is placed inside the trap to attract wild boars. The trap uses solar energy through a panel located at the top to provide power for the trap's motor and signal lights. When wild boars approach, the motion sensor activates the trap door, trapping them quickly and effectively, proving the accuracy and quick response of the trap. In many situations, traps are placed in areas with high densities of wild boar, such as forests, fields, and savannas. This strategy maximizes the ability to capture and control the wild boar population in the most effective way. The Mind Jager Pro Hardplay Trap is not only popular in the United States, but is also widely used in many countries around the world, including Canada, Europe, and Asia. This widespread use is testament to its diversity and versatility in global applications. Each night, these traps can catch between 10 and 30 wild boars providing an effective and sustainable solution for population control. This not only brings immediate benefits, but also helps maintain ecological balance. Users can harvest two to four traps per day, allowing them to control between 730 and 1460 wild boars per year, a testament to the trap's versatility and wide application. The Board Buster system uses a unique design with a circular outer ring and inner shell to effectively trap feral hogs. Assembly details are described as follows. The first step is to build the inner ring by alternating nails and loose boards. The trap's compartments are tightly seated into slots on the inner ring disc. Next, the axle wheels are attached of which one is removable for disassembly and the outer ring is constructed by aligning the panels with the axle wheels and fixing the connection.
Finally, the trigger components, including a lever, lever bar, winch foot, and electronic lock are installed. According to a study by Texas A&M University, the board buster system is 80% more effective than some other traps. It is capable of capturing wild boars of all sizes, from piglets to adult pigs. Canadian farmers have taken preventative measures by installing cameras in areas showing signs of feral boar damage. These cameras are used to monitor areas where wild pigs have infested, attracting a variety of wildlife and invasive animals. The observation lasted throughout the day to better understand the situation. In the evening, when wild boars become active again, they venture into small lagoons in search of food, especially worms, as part of their natural hunting activities. After determining the number of wild boar herds and understanding their activity patterns, farmers prepare traps to catch them. This process requires skill and experience because of the wild boar's sensitivity and alertness to potential threats. Although predation can reduce the growth of the wild boar population, the challenge that arises as they often escape from the trap becomes a significant challenge. The trapped pigs, weighing about 250 to 300 pounds, are drawn into the trap with the grain they like to eat. However, they may become scared and try to break the trap door to escape. Encountering wild boars requires caution, as they can attack if approached. Despite attempts to catch their prey, more often than not they escape and seek shelter in jungles and mountains, where they feel safe and are difficult to catch by direct pursuit. In addition, fox populations had also grown strongly in Australia, with an estimated 10 million foxes currently existing in the country. This is especially concentrated in agricultural and urban areas. 
human impact has played an important role in the development of foxes, causing many challenges to ecological balance and biodiversity. Foxes, performing omnivores, carry out their hunting activities mainly at night, using their agility to easily reach their prey. This creates not only a threat to native animals such as rabbits, birds and rodents, but also heavy losses to the agricultural industry in Australia, with estimates of up to $100 million per year. Fox hunting is not only limited to night hours, but can also be done during the day. All other active habits occur mainly in the evening. There are many areas where foxes are active mainly during the day, creating opportunities for challenging hunts. Good shot. Fall and winter are considered ideal for fox hunting. During the period of giving birth and taking care of their young, foxes become more active and easier to encounter. Every year, millions of foxes become the subject of hunting, with estimates of up to 2 million. This is not only an environmental problem, but also a major threat to agriculture and domesticated animals in Australia. Australia, as the sixth largest continent in the world, formed mainly of mountains, deserts and grasslands, has become an ideal growing environment for typical animals such as camels and fox. Over the decades, camel numbers in Australia have increased significantly, reaching up to 2,000 animals due to a shortage of natural enemies. However, this spike has brought with it a series of problems and negative impacts on the Australian ecosystem. The sharp increase in camel populations has caused competition with native animals such as kangaroos for food and water, leading to a significant decline in the numbers of these native species. Furthermore, camels also have the potential to negatively impact the environment by destroying vegetation and polluting water sources.
To solve this problem, the Australian government had to change its camel population management policy. In 1988, a key decision was made, paving the way for camel hunting to control the population. Before that, camels were considered national property and hunting was prohibited. However, with the sudden increase, the government has adjusted policies to control the situation. The Australian government has established strict regulations on camel hunting, only licensing those who hunt these animals using humane methods. Hunters must report the number of camels hunted to the government. These measures have played an important role in controlling the camel population, reducing its numbers by an estimated 30%. Yep. The current kennel hunting program is carried out on a large scale with the support of professional hunting teams using helicopters to increase efficiency. This is a drastic effort to maintain balance in the camel population and protect Australia's natural resources. Australia's kangaroo population has become a serious problem. With about 26 million concentrated mainly in the grasslands and desert areas of central and northern Australia, this sudden increase is not only damaging to native animals and poses significant challenges to agriculture and infrastructure, especially in the grasslands and deserts of central and northern Australia. The ability of kangaroos to jump up to 30 feet puts great pressure on both farmers and natural habitats. This situation is raising many issues about environmental protection and ecological balance. Managing and controlling kangaroo populations requires careful consideration of local environmental and economic impacts. The Australian government has come up with a solution through the establishment of an animal quota for kangaroo hunting. This quota target is determined based on an assessment of the number of kangaroos that need to be captured to maintain balance in the environment. Licensed hunters are responsible individuals who adhere to mainstream human hunting methods, ensuring that hunting occurs in a responsible and conservation manner. Okay, we'll show you clear, we'll pull them.
in the minds of Americans. The image of natural balance is often realized through the shape of snakes with long bodies, pointed tails and belonging to the carnivore family. These creatures often prey on small prey such as mice, rabbits and birds, and they are widely distributed throughout the world. Except in the Antarctic region, invasive snakes, which are groups of snakes that are not native to a particular area, could have negative ecological and economic effects in the United States. Although there are many famous invasive snakes, such as the Florida Cobra, the Rit-tailed Viper, and the Brown Water Snake, in American culture, they are often considered dangerous and scary animals. This has created avoidance and hesitation in enjoying snake meat in the American community. According to a 2022 American Food and Agriculture Association survey, only 12% of Americans participating in the survey said they were willing to challenge snake meat. Americans often emphasize poultry and seafood in their eating habits. While snake meat does not contribute much to the daily diet, according to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This data indicates that beef is the most popular meat favored in their cuisine. The next meat on America's favorite list is chicken and pork. In contrast, snake meat only accounts for a very small proportion of the total amount of meat consumed daily. Americans often practice diversity in processing and cooking, creating delicious and unique dishes from a variety of food sources. Although American cuisine shows diversity with many unique dishes, snake meat is still not really popular in their daily menu. Keeping with common eating habits, Americans often worry about safety and health when consuming invasive snake meat, concerns about potentially dangerous pathogens such as salmonella, E. coli, and other bacteria are a common concern for consumers. Those interested in experimenting with new diets or exploring culinary diversity should pay special attention to the source and handling of snake meat. 
as well as comply with food safety regulations to minimize risk of infection. If we look deeper into the matter, we see that although some snakes are not a biological threat, they can still pose a health hazard. Some snakes possess strong venom, making their bites painful and sometimes life-threatening. A terrifying chase event is described when a man is bitten by a snake in the middle of a church, accompanied by many others. Snake bites leave them severely handcuffed and almost unable to breathe. This is just one example of the danger that snakes can bring not only to the natural environment, but also to the community. Social security and local authorities need to take careful measures to control this situation and protect the community from the negative impacts of snakes, not only on the environment, but also on social security. Texas, with its diverse landscape from desert to forest, faces a major challenge from invasive snakes. The Texas Department of Agriculture and Industries confirmed the presence of about 15 invasive snake species in the area. Among these, the red-tailed viper and venomous snakes are the most common and can be dangerous to humans. Local communities and governments are facing the difficult challenge of maintaining a balance between safety and environmental protection. Research and implementation of control measures are increasingly important, while public education programs also play an important role in raising awareness of risks and prevention measures. Cooperation between countries and environmental organizations has become a key component to minimizing the impact of invasive snakes, ensuring the safety and sustainability of communities and the natural environment. Solutions are currently being deployed to prevent population growth of invasive snake species. Do you believe in any other better solution? If so, don't forget to share your comments and opinions below. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with upcoming videos. And finally, don't forget to share this video with all your friends, so they can watch and enjoy it too.